Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the Magnum Pistol from Halo, and this is going to be a new series called the Halo Weapons Series, so I hope you guys enjoy. And all you need for this drawing tutorial is a simple pencil with an eraser and a handy dandy pencil sharpener. Let's get started, gamers! Hey guys, before I get into the drawing tutorial, I just want to explain to you how you can break up guns as to small pieces or bites, if you will. Okay, so right here I got a, uh, it's a toy gun, but it's a realistic uh, looking depiction of a rifle. And basically, as you can see, by observing the gun, you can see uh, different rectangular shapes and basically blocky shapes. You know, every gun, even futuristic and, you know, not real guns that have not existed yet, have this blocky form, as you can see right there. Now, in some sections, yes, you do have uh, some round sections there. So basically, that's a little overview of what a gun would look like. And it's actually good um, observing the actual thing. No, this is not an actual gun. It's uh, a, a toy, because, you know, if it was a real gun, I would not be able to actually hold this with one hand. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so... This gun is actually a prime example of observing. So, say you want to make a realistic cheeseburger. Well, you probably would take a actual burger and observe it, you know? Or, you know, look at a picture online or something like that. But, you know, if you want a really good, realistic, and detailed depiction of a gun, no matter if it's futuristic or an actual uh, model of a gun, this is always a good source, you know? Uh, yes, it, Google Images and Bing Images or any uh, search image is good for, uh, for any source, but an actual physical copy of that is, is it's an always a, a good reference, alright? So, yep, that's all I have to say. Hopefully that helped you guys a lot. Remember, if you have any physical forms of any guns, you know, uh, make sure that you observe it. Observe the sections, the little bits and pieces of the gun. Well, that's all I have to say. Let's get started in the tutorial. So, like I just said, I'm going to separate this gun into three parts. The grip, the middle section of the gun, which is the main body, and the big head, the barrel. So, of course, we're going to start out with the grip, okay? So... This gun is actually very unique in shape, and it's a cool-looking sci-fi pistol from a cool sci-fi-like game. Now, guys, I know that there's a lot of blinding light right there in that section, but don't worry, it'll clear up in a little bit. But as you can see, this, uh, the grip and the whole gun is actually made of simple shapes. They're uh, roundish and squarish in some sections, and you can pause the video anytime to observe. And also, like I said before when I was showcasing the toy gun, is that a physical copy or depiction of a gun, like say a prop or something, if you have a prop of a Magnum pistol from Halo, then perfect, use that. That's like as close as you can get to an actual uh, replication, especially when you're trying to do an actual uh, recarnation of that on paper. That's perfect. This is really good so you can actually observe the tiny bits and details of the gun. So guys, right here, I'm making, I'm, we're going to go ahead and make the uh, gripping section. Now, usually I would make, for my tutorials, I would make uh, actual like sketches, but when we're making a really huge and big drawing like this, we're going to go ahead and actually just go, go through it, go through the details, go through the motions, and do everything, okay? So I'm only doing the, the grip section of this uh, the, I'm only doing the grip se section of this gun just to break it down to smaller bites, you know, just to give you smaller chunks of the gun so I don't give you, you know, a speed drawing 
of hey do this and that and that it'll be too intimidating it'll be uh, too fast and it will just won't give you the learning experience that I want to actually fully give you so there's uh, small details in this gun like the bolts right there and there's like little uh, different firing like firing rate switches here and there and there's like tiny little circles which is just easy to make circles and right here I'm doing the gripping now the grip uh, you're, you want to make like little roundish lines kinda like a rainbow if you ever like made a cartoon rainbow doodle like thing this will be a little bit easy and just you know take your time now usually I would use a ruler for this but since it's just a roundish line and that's fine now yes there is an ovalish shape right there and you don't really have to perfectly match up your lines to the other sides it's completely fine you don't have to do that it it really it's actually kinda pointless doing that so don't stress out too much it doesn't have to be perfect no one's perfect and then you just wanna make uh, vertical lines like that making uh you know it, they're, well they're going a little horizontal now but yeah you just want to make uh lines down up and down and it actually adds more detail if you don't want to do this uh if you think it's over detail well it's really not it's like a key detail feature if you're that artist wants to take his or her time uh, doing a drawing then these details will help you make a fantastic and well detailed drawing of what you're trying to make whether it be a gun, a car, a portrait, anything. Take your time, you know, follow basic steps, and hey, if you're natural, natural at it, you might not even need a tutorial. So guys, whoever is watching this video, I would like to uh, know, um, did you uh, get your art skills from uh, a class? like? Not really, uh, it doesn't have to be from school, but an actual uh, cl uh, class outside of school. Or did you g get it from like a different art YouTuber? Or did it just come naturally? My skills, uh, they came naturally. Um, yeah, here and there I would get a little bit of lessons, you know, but uh, that's about it. But they were helpful lessons nonetheless. So, going back to the gripping. You, this the grip section is just pretty much roundish. Now, when we get to the middle section, it's going to be more squared off, especially when we're going to the bulky head of this pistol. Now, this is a cool-looking pistol. This is not your ordinary kind of pistol. I like the design of this pistol. I think it looks badass. It definitely looks like a uh, a sci-fi pistol, in my opinion, and it, it definitely matches up within the Halo universe. And there's like different uh, renditions, I think. Uh, there's one of the ODST one that looks a little bit more of a modern kind of pistol, but it looks a little more, it looks futuristic at the same time. Now I'm more, completing more of the um, middle section here. I'm going to go on to the middle section. Now, as you can, now, like I said, there's like different little switches, like the firing rate switches. And it's good if you have like an airsoft pistol because, you know, believe it or not, that uh, a lot of sci-fi guns, they take uh, their own looks and uh, how they are displayed in like a movie or game and they pretty much uh, take it off on actual real guns, you know. Now, in my opinion, I think that a lot of uh, guns in Halo are really cool. Now, when I mean that a lot of uh, guns are uh, based on the on modern real guns, I actually, well, sometimes when we are going into the elite guns, we uh, are basically talking about um, these are like roundish futuristic guns. They don't really resemble any kind of modern guns. Like the Needler, it doesn't represent any modern gun in the real time at all. But it's, it's a cool gun, but it doesn't really represent, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have that, like, uh, modern features that guns in real life do. So, 
uh, going in on to more of the uh, middle section of the gun, as you can see, we I uh, just finished up on the uh, little cocking section right there. I'm not an expert at guns. I do play a lot of Call of Duty and GTA 5, but that doesn't make me a a, a guns expert. So please, I'm sorry if you're if you're like a gun enthusiast. I'm sorry if I'm getting like the key features of guns wrong. I am so sorry about that. All I know is that they look cool and I get to kill people with them in, in, in uh, video games. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I am making you mad about that. So now we're, um, this is where the ruler comes in. I didn't really introduce it in the beginning of the video. But basically, it, what all you have to do is just, um, you don't even need a ruler with this. If you're okay, if you're good with just taking your time and making straight lines on the bot, uh, towards the, um, actual rear end of the gun, then you'll be fine. Now, if you've watched my GTA 5 review, I actually made a suppressed pistol. Now, that pistol is an actual uh, pistol, a modern gun, and uh, it actually has these lines. As you can see, if you look up actual real guns, you can just uh, see actual realistic features being portrayed in a uh, video game gun, video game, sci-fi video game, or sci-fi movie guns. But continuing on, so yeah, basically, this this is a uh, this gun is just comprised of squares, blocky shapes, lines. So basic um, fundamentals of just straight lines and shapes. Now, yes, you could use an eraser for uh, I mean a ruler for this, but for some reason I didn't really use uh, the ruler that much in the drawing. As you can see, I use it to make little bits of lines here and there, but I didn't really use it that much because there's a lot of bits and pieces that I wanted to actually uh, concentrate just to add more uh, realism to the drawing. Now, the writing. the um, So basically, when I was doing my uh, GTA 5 review, there was actually like writing and logos on the gun, and you know that's normal for a gun to have there's like always writing and logos on the gun and basically uh, they were more like a, a, a 3d blocky kind of words and that always was a pain I try to do it for the drawing and basically uh, yeah it didn't turn out too well uh, but since good thing that um, the writing, the lettering on this gun is actually thin. It's like line letters. It's not that 3D stuff. Um, I mean, it looks nicer, but oh man, does that take a lot of time? And you know, when you're doing a much more detailed drawing, you don't want to put, you want to put effort, but you want to, you don't want to put that that much unnecessary effort. But you know, if it's uh, simple stuff like this, then I don't really mind, and I can just do it, and it makes the gun really cool. And again, adds that realism factor, because, you know, the guns in real life, they have logos and writing, you know, uh, labeling, different stuff in the gun. Now make sure that you have a sharp point for this, okay? Don't, uh, make sure that you don't have, like, an actual stub on your pencil, because obviously, if you want to actually do the, this kind of writing, it's going to, um, really, uh, make you suck when doing that. <laughs> Now, basically, for the O's and, and zeros, I put a, a, like a slash to it. You don't have to do that, and you don't have to put UNSC property there. You probably should because it's actually, you know, it is a, a, a human pistol issued from the UN, UNSC. But you know, it's basically up to you what you want to put there. You can put Grandmaster Pooba for all I care. I don't really, it doesn't really matter as long as you put the same font as this. Now, um, this model word, uh, GB, that you're going to see, I actually uh, 
make that much smaller because that when I looked back I was like okay that's too big <laughs> you want to make yeah so when looking at a prop a physical copy or an actual virtual copy on the computer screen you always want to make sure okay hopefully I'm uh, making sure that everything you know is placed right you don't it, nothing has to be perfect okay just make sure that it looks authentic now I'm moving to the head the big bulky head of the gun now this is the final uh, section of this pistol and I actually had a lot of fun with this I always love uh, doing the heads of uh, video game characters and even guns I don't know it's a it's and I know this is actually called the barrel of the gun you know where the bullets go bang bang out of but I like to call it the uh, head just to get a more real uh, I don't know technical term with it without being you know having a, a gun enthusiast term with it so um, as you can see uh, for making the um, the grip with the the uh, trigger right there is actually like a a, um, a warped little uh, triangle, if you will, and basically it sticks out of that out of the um, grip right there. And then, um, as you can see, when getting to especially getting to the uh, front of the gun, there's a lot of like slanted uh, shapes and tri triangles and uh, hexagon looking shapes so a lot of uh, sli uh, slanting lines and basically uh, lines of s uh, symmetry that's uh, basically a lot of um, straight lines of symmetry that's a good uh, reference right there symmetry I'm sorry I don't want to remind you of math at all but uh, eh. gotta do it for the sake of explaining this uh, drawing Now, I have played uh, Halo a lot, uh, mostly the uh, campaign. Um, I like the story. I think the story is uh, good. The history is especially rich. I do like that. Um, so, guys, what's your favorite Halo game? If you are a Halo player, uh, post in the comment section below. Uh, you know, I think my favorite Halo would have to be... Oh, man, that's a tough one. I think it would have to be Halo... Reach or Halo 4? I'm not sure. I don't know. I I'm going to go with Halo Reach. I think that's everyone's favorite, to be honest with you. At least most of the Halo community's favorite. And this is where I actually uh, make the lettering on the uh, gun on the uh, rear section lettering section much more smaller so remember you always have to make tweaks and uh, changes and enhancements to your uh, drawing and this applies to portraits of uh, faces uh, cars uh, pretty much practically everything you always any drawing anything you're drawing you always have to make tweaks uh, especially when you know when you make a sketch you always have to uh, you know erase those rough sketch lines now, yes, granted, there is a lot of uh, lines that I do make that are a lot of rough lines that I need that I needed to erase. So, just observe the um, the uh, picture or model of it, and you'll get a good feel of the actual gun. You'll see different lines that intercept with each other that go around the grip and the actual gun, and you'll get a more in-depth feel with it. Now, pay pay attention closely to the actual picture, and um, you know, see any actual uh, actual line uh, lines and shapes and little bolts and uh, even a little bit of details in the gun. It's always good to actually pick those things out. So guys, if uh, you are a um, visitor, not a visitor, but uh, if you're actually, if you, you know my channel, you watch my videos, 
Um, this is my first time actually making a, uh, well, not an actual gun, but a, uh, well, I wouldn't say an actual Halo gun. Um, on my other channel, my old channel, which, don't look at that, uh, I don't upload any more videos. I'm actually going to do a video about my two old channels, alright, so that'll be interesting. I'm um, basically going to make fun of myself, but anyways, uh, so, yeah. Uh, in my uh, one channel, I made uh, the Human Assault Rifle, <laughs> which, yeah, that, that was okay, but I, I think I'm going to do much better with the Halo guns, because my skill set has actually improved. Now, as you can see, I'm actually shading, and there's a, like, a, a lot of gray spots on the gun as well. And the rubbing technique, if you don't, if you're not familiar with my rubbing technique, basically I may, I, uh, make a little spot, alright, with my pencil, and, um, on the, on the drawing, somewhere with the drawing, you know. So, say if you're shading a portion of a drawing, and then I'll, uh, take my fing, I'll take my finger, any finger, a thumb can be effective as well. My, I'll take my index finger and just rub the, uh, the surface and it will create uh, a much more efficient way to actually color and cover the drawing but I don't use this like um, the whole section like the whole everything of the gun it, it'll just be useful just to make the uh, gun pop out I also uh, sometimes use this for my drawings or for my portraits I mean uh, and also, like cartoonish characters like Pac-Man and Rayman, I will use that uh, little uh, feature, that little, not feature, but that little uh, technique sometimes. Maybe I'll do a separate video about that uh, technique to go more in depth with it. So guys, that's about it. So all I can really say is make sure that you look at the drawing, uh, not the drawing, but the uh, portrait, <laughs> I'm sorry, the freaking uh, image or prop or whatever you're using to make this drawing good uh, sorry I cannot talk today uh, just make sure that you um, get the details right get everything you need for example uh, the front of the gun there's like a lot of uh, barrel looking shapes so make sure that you get that and that's like simple shapes as well and uh, yeah, that's basically it, so make sure that you uh, take your time, and just uh, perfect the drawing as it goes. So guys, I hope this helped you out greatly, and um, for my subscribers there, thank you, I love you so much, thank you for supporting this channel. Uh, on my other channel, I was talking about with the uh, Human Assault Rifle from Halo, uh, that channel actually has 57 subscribers, and it actually surpassed my first channel, which I think was 20 subscribers. But I already surpassed my first channel with 27 subscribers, and hopefully I can surpass my uh, last channel. And don't worry, I'll explain why my uh, other channels didn't make it, and hopefully this one will make it longer, and hopefully last forever. <laughs> which will have never happen, but... Hey guys, I hope this is a good introduction to the uh, Halo Weapons series, so look out for more Halo Weapons. I'll be doing the Humans and the Elites. So guys, I will see you next time. Wait, what? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I probably cut off right there due to technical difficulties. But as I was saying, uh, hopefully this is a good introduction to my new halo weapons series guys i hope you enjoyed this first uh, halo magnum gun uh, it's going to be the first pistol of the uh, halo series halo weapon series i'm going to start out small i'm going to do pistols and move up to assault rifles and of course smgs shotguns and more complicated